Recently, I handed this power strip to my friend, uh, brand new out of the package, and when he plugged it in, there was a loud popping noise, and uh, my friend had a soot mark on his finger where he was holding this power strip. So the unit's obviously defective. Uh, you might want to watch out with this brand here. This is Prime brand. I don't know. It's a real cheapo bottom of the barrel uh, power strip. So I figured we'd open it up and see what the failure was. The power strip is not a surge protector. It's just a switch. And so as you can see, there's quite a bit of soot up here in the plastic case of the power strip. And uh, I'm going to open up the switch housing and see if the failure was uh, inside the switch, or maybe there was just a whisker of, of wire between the hot and the neutral. Well, it doesn't look that way. It looks like the, the white wire is neutral here and the black wire is hot, and there's no uh, evidence of an explosion around this area. It seems to be concentrated over here. So let's take the switch out and see what's going on in there. So I carefully cut away the, uh, the switch housing and it looks like the contacts are okay. Uh, the neon bulb is intact. Uh, the connections on the neon bulb look okay. Uh, the reason that this switch needs a, a neutral, of course, is for the neon bulb. So the two hot uh, connections are just opened and closed with the switch contact and the neutral just supplies a return path for the current going through the neon bulb. So it looks like the uh, explosion damage is, is really outside the switch housing. It looks like it's mostly just on the terminal here. Inside the switch I don't see any soot. It doesn't look like the, the arcing was, was contained within the switch. There must have been some sort of a problem with their solder joint on the hot wire here. Very unusual. I can't see the path that the current would have taken. There might have been a real a, a very fine whisker of wire that went all the way from the neutral to the hot terminal on the switch. Anyway, if you guys have seen a failure like this, I'd be interested to hear from you. I'm kind of curious what would cause such a thing. Um, and uh, we'll get together and sue the uh, makers of this of this strip here. Okay, see you next time. Bye.